everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me on this Christmas Eve. Um, we are almost to Christmas Day. Don't know if you guys celebrate on Christmas Eve or if you celebrate on Christmas Day or maybe don't celebrate at all, but I really want to wish you and your family a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. So welcome in. Um, if you are brand new, welcome in. And if you're returning, you know, welcome back. So I'm hoping that I can keep you all company a little bit today um, with this product review. Um, this is from Colorful DIY and they are a budget friendly company. So let's just kind of dive in. So let me move my Christmas sign, okay? And I am finally, I've got one off the canvas and I have one cross stitch, okay? And I'm finally joining the bandwagon with coasters. I have not done coasters yet, um, but I wanted to start them. So let me show these to you. And this is in kind of a, um, a mandala um, format or style, I should say, not format. Let me bring this in a little bit. I I love the mandalas. Aren't those pretty? And those are my colors, pinks and blues. Let me just show you all of these. I think they are just so pretty. And these are kind of um, on, a, on a wooden base. It doesn't have any cork background on it, but I might get some cork for it when I get done. So let me just show you all of these. I think they are really, really pretty. All the colors. Oh, that one's beautiful too. There's 10 of these. And it comes with a little holder for them. Let's see if there are any, any um, that are the same, okay? Let's just kind of put them out. Take a look at them. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit so we can get a little bit more in. But they're all in the same kind of similar colors. But it looks like they are all different, huh? That's kind of similar, but it's got different colors. Really, really, oops. Really, really pretty. I do like them. And of course they have the cover sheet on the top, like that. So let me put these back in. And I think what I'm gonna do, guys, I am gonna steal this idea from Lazy Retired Granny. Thank you, Lazy Retired Granny. Um, I will do, I will start one so you can kind of see what the drills are like and what one kind of looks like. And I want to show you the drills too. It's going to come with the standard kit, which is the boat, the plate of wax, and the pen. <clears throat> and these are going to be in crystals, and it looks like there's some special shapes. So let me show you all these beautiful colors. Oh, the blue is pretty in that raspberry. And look at those big orange pear shape. And that really looks, it looks more raspberry in person. A pear shape that's faceted. Another blue pear shape. Look at those facets. Those are just beautiful. And then we have more of the round. I love that raspberry. Super pretty and gold and more raspberry and white. And we, we still have more, they've got a lot of colors. And this one is gold and that's an aqua. And that's a, a again, a dark raspberry. That looks gray to me, blue, green. There's your, I think this is gonna be a silvery white. Those are your red. 
pears, I mean pear shape. And those are the little teeny, teeny, tiny pear shape. And then there's more red. So those are absolutely gorgeous. So hang out with me for a minute. I'm gonna show you the cross stitch. And then I am going to work on one of the one of the coasters, okay? And we'll do a little bit of a whip and chat with that so you can kind of see what it's like. But let's go ahead and do the, the cross stitch and then I'm gonna come back to that. So stay with me, okay? Don't go away. Okay, this is a Joy Sunday. And I just thought it was really cute with the flowers. They look tropical flowers to me. Um, and this is a 14 count two strand. It's a 26 by 34. So let me show you this. Let's get this all out. Now Joy Sunday is, is wonderful because they, um, let me just put that there for a second. They have all the instructions right here of everything you need to do. Although, like I said, if you're a beginner, I mean, and I was coming back to cross stitch, watch the tutorials. Watch some of the really experienced stitchers um, so you can get some oh tips and tricks and um, things that help save you some time and things that uh, make it easier for you. So there's the instructions. And again, there is the picture. And this is the booklet that's going to have the chart. So this is the chart. And this is if you wanted to do a counted cross stitch. The colors and symbols on these are different than are on the Ada cloth. But here we go. We have, wow, 34 colors in full stitch. And there's one color in back stitch. So no French knots, no half stitches. That's great. We'll get to the colors in just a minute. But isn't that beautiful? I love the pastel colors on this. And everything, let me just kind of bring this up. Everything is very clear. There is nothing that is smudged or smeared or anything like that. And then let me show you down here. This is the um, chart that you are going to, or the legend that you are going to use. And it does gonna, it should have two needles. Let me find the needles. Hold on a second. It's gonna come with needles and it's also gonna come with the floss. And I'm gonna turn this over because this is white Ada. And I think you are gonna see the colors a whole lot better. So they're very, um, Pastelli, is that a word even? Pastelli. So you can see the colors on this. And then let me flip it over because there's more colors. There's colors on that. And you can see the needles. So those are those are just really, really pretty. It's not too big. You know, it's not too big for me to be able to work on. Although I tell you, the 14 count, when I was younger, I could do with my bare eyeballs. I didn't need reading glasses. I didn't need magnification or anything like that. But now I need magnification. I've got a big lighted magnifier that I use. Um, even the 11 count, I mean, it's more comfortable. I don't necessarily have to use the magnifier if I have good light. Um, but with this, I, I'm going to need the magnifier. And there are some great magnifiers, guys. It's almost like a table, like a floor lamp. And it's got a gooseneck on it so that you can bend it to, you know, if, when you're sitting in your chair. Well, I can't get this back in the bag. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, there we go. Finally got it. Goodness, on the struggle bus today, huh? On the struggle bus. Okay, so this one is my Joy Sunday Flowers cross stitch. Again, struggle bus. 
but here I am. So let's go ahead and let's work on those coasters. And this was a great idea, again, with uh, Lazy Retired Granny. Thank you again for that. Hope you don't mind that I'm gonna steal your idea, but I am giving you credit for it. So I'm gonna start with this one, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and use what they give in the, um, you know, in the kit. And this, this is to show you that you don't have to have anything special. But then I am gonna show you that if you do diamond painting, I mean, I hear people say this all the time. This is all that you need. It's true. It is truly all you need. But I think there's some other items that are very inexpensive that will make your life a whole lot easier and um, make your stitching more enjoyable. So this is the, the plate of wax that we're gonna use. And let me just, there's a little film on it. Let me just show you. See, so you just take that off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and load this up. And again, I'm sorry I didn't get right to the end. That might bug some people, but there we go. I've got that loaded up. And let's let's pick a color. How about um, let's pick um, let's pick fours. Okay, that's gonna be all around the edge and on the inside. We got a lot. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm totally out of frame. Pardon me. Um, let's go ahead and pick fours. We've got lots of fours. I had you zoomed in just a little too close, didn't I? Let me back you out a little bit. And when I start, hold on just a second here. There we go. So let me find the fours. Which one is a four? Here we go. Well, actually, that is, hang on a second. Let's do, I want to do a different color, only because I want, hang on a second. We're going to do this one, and I'll tell you why. We are going to do the color threes, and the color threes are this really pretty red. I like it. So let's do this one, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. Cut this. And I'm gonna open this up just a little bit to get some out. These green trays don't hold very much, so I'm not gonna put a lot of drills in there. So I'm gonna show you a couple things. These tend to be a little bit wobbly, but you certainly can paint with it, and I will show you. And then I'm gonna show you a couple things that might make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, guys, there's always a little bit of technical trouble here, but this is the cover sheet, and I am going to just go ahead and take that off. And it's very sticky, very sticky. And again, we are working on color number three. And I'm gonna pull you in so you, I, you can see it a little bit more. And this is that beautiful raspberry color. So, that, so you can just see what I'm doing. I'm just picking up the drill and I am placing it on the number three. All you experienced diamond painters already kind of know this. Um, you really could multi-place on this very easily as well. Even though there's some curves to it, um, you can still do it. Um, I multi-place on these type of, I mean, not coasters, obviously, this is my first coaster, but on other type of off-canvas um, projects that I do. So I was gonna tell you, that colorful DIY, again, is um, it's a low um, or a budget-friendly company. And um, they have diamond paintings, both round and square. They have um, accessories. 
Um, they have all kinds of things. Uh, right now, they have a sale going on. Um, again, I don't know when you are going to be watching this, so um, I'm just going to say just check their homepage because they always have a, they have a sale that's going. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, I wish you could really see how sparkly they are. They're, they are. It is very dreary and foggy here. Let me take this off. Hold on. Let me see if... Will that show it anymore? Nope. Let me try one more different set of light because I really want you to be able to see how shiny they are. Well, we're going to show you one other thing in just a second when I get there to show you some ideas that um, can make your life a little bit easier as you're diamond painting and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. So again, I'm just putting these down on the number three. Yeah, Colorful um, DIY had so many things, it was hard for me to pick things out. Thank you very much, Colorful DIY, for sending this, these to me and showcasing them. These really are very nice. Um, they are pretty um, sturdy feeling. Now, of course, I will seal these once I am done so that the drills are not going to want to fall off. And these are fun projects to do. They had lots of other kinds of um, coasters as well that you could that you could choose. Again, this could be a really good project for a kiddo. Now my niece that started diamond painting, she did some coasters and they turned out beautiful. Okay, so again, you can kind of see that how, how I'm doing on this, which is, it's coming along really quickly. I mean, I could do this whole thing, I don't know, probably in just a couple hours, I would think, for the whole thing. But I want to show you, if you use just a little bit bigger tray, something a little bit bigger like this, first of all, you can hold a lot more drills but they shake down a whole lot easier. And now you can really see how pretty they are too. So this can make your life a little bit easier if you go just with a little bit bigger tray. Um, but I did just wanna show you, show you that. But since I said I was going to use what they were providing, that's what I'm gonna do. So you can kind of see the difference with the drills. These don't like to always um, line up very well in these little things, but you certainly can do it with that. But I really like these things. I'm kind of um, kind of impressed at how um, substantial feeling they are. Uh, the clarity of the drill. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm out of frame. The clarity of the drill field is awesome. And what I'm gonna to need to do is, um, I will work with one color and I'll do all the threes for all of the coasters. Let me back you out just a little bit. I think I'm too close. I think that's probably better, huh? So I'll do all the threes and I'm gonna need a little bit more wax. Um, you'll find that you have to reload your pen every now and again when they just start stop picking up. So I'm just gonna load this again. And we'll start putting these down again. I'm gonna do a little bit more 
And then what I'll do is um, I'll do another video when these are all done. But I did want to show you just how easy these are and really how pretty it's going to be. But I love that um, that raspberry color. It's just so pretty. I'll just do a few min few few more. So again, um, Merry Christmas Eve to everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day with your family um, and your friends if you're celebrating today, or maybe you're doing some last minute shopping. Um, I drove by some of the stores today. I was doing some errands and, oh man, are things busy. I, um, I'm going to try not to be out for the rest of the day. I'm going to be doing some more filming. So I've got, uh, lots of things that are going. we go so let me just finish this last little petal up and then I will let you guys go I'm so glad you were able to hang out with me today and um, look at this beautiful um, coaster set that I received and also the cross stitch the cross stitch is really beautiful too um, and I will always show completions when I get them done. But again, thank you, Colorful DIY. So there, I did three little petals just in the pink. And you can see how really quick that was. And again, I'll flip that over so you can see that it's just a little wooden backing. Okay, everybody, you take care. Again, have a very, very Merry Christmas. Um, stay safe, enjoy your time with your family and friends. Oop, I didn't put that on straight. I really am on the struggle bus today, aren't I? Goodness gracious. I'll just, I'm just going to let it stay crooked. How about that? Okay, remember, you are perfect exactly the way you are, and you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.